Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm uh, so I'm on this live. I'm actually recording this live so that you know. Uh, I'm gonna be posting um, videos basically of um, of this live and the questions you guys answer. So if you have a question and you want to jump on the live with me, by all means, jump on the live with me. I have my computer to answer any questions that you know uh, I may not know offhand. I'm just letting my Discord know. Cool. Ooh, oh, my stand almost broke my stand. That wouldn't have been good. Oh, someone requested to be in my live. Here we go, first person. I accepted it, but it didn't go through, so... I don't know. There we go. Hello, DJ. Hey, what's up? I am Nunimitsu, Grandmaster of the Snow Strike. Cool. I okay. made a duet video with you on TikTok, remember? Uh, yes. A lot of people do that. But do you have a question for me? I was wondering, can you do a stitch of me? Well, I do stitch of tons of people if um if you pop up on my on my feed no problem all right i'll send you a video of it so what inspired you to become a ninja awesome uh so do you train what do you train yes i train kenpo judo taekwondo and ninjutsu kenpo judo taekwondo and ninjutsu which one have you been That's training right. the longest? Oh, I've been training ever since 2015. 2015? Okay, so about six years now. That's good. That's good. Um, uh, so do you, like, do you feel um, accomplished? Do you feel like there's a lot to learn still? Where do you feel like you're training? Do you feel like you still want to continue training? Or is it something that you might want to stop, you know, later on? I don't know. I'll continue training. How long do you think you want to continue training? Over like four years. Four more years? So about 10 years, you think you want to like think 10 years? So, okay, this is a good question. I, I, I have a question for you actually. So I've obviously been doing martial arts for the majority of my life. I am 25 years, tw almost 25 years old and I've been training for almost 19 years. Um, it'll be 19 years in May. And for me, it's a lifestyle type of thing. I just, I will never quit. It's just who I am at this point. Uh, and so uh, my question for you is, do you think you'll be able to quit after t expending 10 years of your life doing something like that? Do you think it'll be, okay, time to move on to the next thing? Maybe it will, and that's okay. It's okay if that is. I'm just honestly curious. Do you think you'll have any trouble um, quitting and and moving on to a next um, to your next thing that you do. Not exactly. What do you mean? You don't think it'll be hard to to quit? Nope. Okay, that's fair, and, and that's that's a fair point. That is one hundred percent fair. Uh, do you? What is the fate your favorite style that you train? Repeat that. What is your favorite style that you train? Well, my number one favorite style is Kenpo. That's your favorite? Is that the one you've been training the longest? Yep. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's, that's, and my favorite style is Tong Sudo, and that's why it's my favorite. And that's the same reason it's my favorite style. I've been training it for the longest time. I'm getting ready for my master test uh, coming up this summer, which is going to be wild. So, yeah, that's why it's my favorite. Um, All but, right, and I'll be going live later on. Awesome, and I appreciate you stopping by. I am this this whole thing is going to be recorded. So, uh, do I have your permission to post any segments of this with you on it? All right. Cool. Sounds good. Awesome. Thanks for stopping by. But I gotta let some other people join and answer some questions. So, sayonara. I will, I will talk to you later. See ya. All right. So. I believe there are 
Oh, there's more requests. More requests. Okay. Avatar Warrior. There we go. What's up? I'm I'm accepting. I'm accepting. Yeah, it's it's coming. It's it's it takes a second. What's good, bro? How are you doing? Yo. So, uh, what you got for me? You got any questions? What you wanna talk about something? What what's the what's the uh what's the subject on your mind, my friend? Um for now, Avatar, but I need to keep it short because it's late for here it is late. Oh, okay, no worries, no worries. So go for it. What's your, <laughs> what's, your uh, what's your topic? What's your question? Um, well, because I'm thinking of Avatar right now, like a lot, mm -hmm. all the time. <laughs> um, yes, all the time. That's why I'm the Avatar warrior. <laughs> so uh, I'm guessing it involves the uh, the new. Um, Avatar verse and the Avatar Studios yeah. that came out. Yeah, I'm I'm hearing a lot, and my brain is just going crazy. Like, um, I I found a YouTube video that was talking about the sub element, like lava bending, and mm -hmm. my brain just went crazy because there is a theory that is genetic, but I made a theory in my head that makes it either genetic or not, and. That makes me think of like if lava bending is like quote unquote uh, uh earth bending like fire bending because lava right right and I was thinking like is that then the same thing for for air bending and fire bending because combustion bending because you know the the it is well, like I, I see what you're saying like combustion bending would be like the air version of fire bending um. Then you have lava being like the water or fire version of of earth bending because it's liquidy and it's... yeah, something like that, something I like think, that. I think that like with that whole, especially with fire bending in particular, or with lava bending in particular, uh, it's a lot. To, it's a lot more to do with the fact that you can change the temperature of what you bend. So, for example, you know, uh, fire benders can heat up. Um, yeah. a much hotter fire or have cooler fire. Water benders are really good at this. They can make steam and they can make yes. ice, which is just controlling the temperature of the water. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think that this is like lava bending is the same. I think, I think that potentially you could like, I don't know, make a gas form of of <laughs> earth bending, and that yeah, would yeah, be yeah. just. Like, don't get me wrong, it'd probably be super hard because, you know, earthbending is the stubborn element and all that stuff. Yeah. But personally, I think that if you were a good enough earthbending and trained and you could lava bend and your whole, you know, you come down a family of lava benders, kind of like uh, how Amon came down a family of learning how to blood bend. If yeah. you have a family of learning how to, how to lava bend, then uh, potentially the next step would be like gaseous rock, <laughs> which is terrifying. <laughs> Because yeah, oh my you either God. die from the heat or is the suffocation. It's like it's like when the ash from Mount Vesuvius like covered mm -hmm. uh, Pompeii. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, I understand. That's right. But like it's like you'd be able to cover places in ash and just completely smother everyone. It'd be wild. Earthbending is my mm -hmm. favorite, honestly. Earthbending is yeah. absolutely my favorite. Yeah, I I I remember that because I once and uh, I. You did once uh, long ago on Instagram on your stories. One of those asked me a question, and that was one of my questions that I asked you, and you yeah. answered earthbending. <laughs> no, it it was well, um, earthbending. Earthbending <laughs> where it's at. For but, me, uh, airbending. Where Where are you from? You said it's super late there. Um, I'm from Belgium. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, well, hi, Belgium. Um, <laughs> very far away from there, but. <laughs> um, um, I'm I'm going to try this. Try to say this correctly. Um, it's a eleven eleven twelve p.m. here. Oh yeah, you got that. No, that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh my god! It, it's just <laughs> because here, because here we say like it's twenty three hours and oh, so twelve the full twenty four o'clock. Got you. Yes. Got you. Yes. Yes. Um, another question is from well. 
how do you see yourself as a bender? Because for, for the record, this is just something that, I, that is seriously in my mind because I'm still trying to make that fan art idea that I told you a very long time ago on TikTok. Yeah. And I'm still trying to figure out something, but I just don't have the grab on it. And that's why I want to ask you that from how do you see yourself as an... Uh, so... Yeah. Even though my favorite bending is earth bending, like that is my favorite, my style that I train and my personality, and tell me down in the comments if I'm right or wrong on this one, but I feel like my personality is far more firebender than earth bender or water or air or anything like that. Even yeah. though I love those styles, and I really don't <laughs> even like, I don't even love um, the earth like the other style i don't love firebending that much like it's cool sure but i'd if mm -hmm. I to choose i'd take all the others before fire um but i still think with my personality and all that i think uh um fire is just how how it shakes how how it works so um hopefully that answers your question but I yeah. get to the next person i appreciate you hopping on um i just want to let you know that this is yeah. recorded so is it cool if I post some clips of you in it? Yeah, it's fine by me. And awesome. um, I will try to give you that fan art of Avatar, hopefully until Avatar November. Hey, I love I love at fan art, so I will definitely be posting it. So if anybody sends me fan art, I try to post every single one of them. Yeah, and I'm... um, <laughs> actually avatar because of with all this new avatar stuff i'm not just doing avatar month in november it is gonna be avatar november that's gonna it's gonna happen but there's gonna be yeah. stuff this entire year i'm like i am so hyped so oh yeah. my god are oh, you making me hype <laughs> it's gonna be fantastic but i gotta give yeah. you a chance to hop on so mm -hmm. thank yeah you for stopping by thank you for jumping in and yeah having a chat with me about avatar because i love talking yeah it is nothing. Have a nice day. You too. Have a good night. Good night. Uh, yeah, good day. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So, guys, just remember, if you want to jump on, um, you have to you have to exit. I can't kick you out, just so you know. Oh, oh okay, okay. I didn't understand. This is literally my first time. But no, I'm you're sorry. Good. You're good. Um, you're good. That's what I'm here. Do the next. Do the next one. Uh, but if you want to jump online with me and have a conversation uh, about whatever, you know, any questions that you have, definitely let me know. I'm much, I'm more than happy to talk about whatever questions you got. However, I do have some questions that you guys have written into me. Uh, ooh, so um, here, before I answer that, uh, when is my How to Fight Like Hawkeye video coming Um I don't know. A bunch of people aren't getting, um, they're not getting like um, notifications of my stuff anymore. So it's actually already out on my YouTube. So definitely just check it out if you haven't. Um, it's fairly recent. It's Fight Like Hawkeye. It's a big cool picture of Hawkeye on the, on the thumbnail. So check it out. Links to all of my channels and stuff is in my bio as always. So if you want to see how to fight like Hawkeye, it's already out. And with Captain America or with Winter Soldier and Falcon coming out uh, next week. I'm actually going to be posting um, Fight Like um, Winter Soldier very soon. So get ready for that. Um, but we got another request to join the live. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> Hi. What's up? Nothing. I... I just wanted to know, how do you think I could start be doing martial arts? How do you think... Okay, how do I think you could start doing martial arts? So I do have yeah. a question. How old are you? 11. 11? So that is awesome. It's always better to start as a younger kid than when you get, like, as old as I am. It's always better to start as a kid. It's not impossible when you get older, but it's definitely better to start as a kid. Um... And 11, I'm not trying to call you a kid, but a child as in not 18, right? Mm -hmm. um, but if you wanted to get started into martial arts, and that's really something you wanted to do, and you don't have any money to do it, right? Assuming. Mm -hmm. So with 
no money with only the internet at your disposal, my suggestion is to take the first step and start, um, start working out. It doesn't have to be martial arts at first. You could be, you know, going on a jog or a walk once every, you know, couple days. You can start doing a, a push-up, a couple push-ups. You can do jumping jacks. You know, there's tons of different workouts that you can do at home. And then once you're feeling comfortable, once you're used to actually getting your body moving, uh, whether you are or not, um, and maybe, you, you know, you do sports and you already have the basic workout going, then you can go forward and find tutorials online. There are tons of different tutorials if you want to learn how to do martial arts, especially the type of stuff that you see me do on, um, <clears throat> especially the type of stuff that you see me do on TikTok and all that stuff, all the sword tricks and the bow staff work. Now, I don't suggest jumping into something like sword because sword can be very dangerous. And even if it's not sharp, a sharp blade, it can still mm -hmm. cut when it's going fast. So, um, you know, grabbing yourself a broomstick for a bow staff, going out in your backyard, trying to spin it out, trying to figure it out is a great place to start. Personally, I think finding a teacher is incredibly important. And with, you know, everything going on right now, I totally understand that that's harder to do. And that's part of the reason why I do tutorials and even online lessons for people that are interested. And so if you wanted to jump on an online lesson, we could definitely set that up. But um, learning directly from someone gives you a lot more to work with and it will help fix all the bad habits that you made while trying to teach yourself. So until you're able to find a teacher and to find someone to learn from, going online, going on YouTube, finding tutorials, and just going out to your backyard and doing your best job at trying to, to do that is a great place to start, in my opinion. Does that answer your question? Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for jumping online. Okay. I'm just going to leave the live and join back. Go right ahead. All right. What well, I know we have some questions for you guys. If anyone else wants to jump on, by all means, but I'm going to answer another question that you guys have sent me. Uh, how many? Oh, okay. So how many fighting styles do I know? That is a good question. Um, so in my life, I've moved around a lot. And that means that I've, um, I've lived in several different places around the country. I've trained with a lot of different people in a lot of different styles. And so not all of my styles I've trained to, you know, black belt level, but I've spent a year or two in almost every style that I'm about to mention. So the number one style that I've trained is Tong Sudo. That I've, I'm actually going for my master here in this summer. I'm training for it. It's it's an event, and I'm actually start about to start doing a um, a post series like taking you on that journey with me uh if that's something you guys would like um but so there's tong sudo there's taekwondo which is my number two this the only other art that i've taken all the way to black belt uh is taekwondo and that's be just because when you're moving around it's really easy to find taekwondo schools and so uh you don't have to start over all the time <laughs> if that makes sense um and then after that we have I've studied Kung Fu, uh, Shotokan Karate, which is also another really easy one to find. Uh, Krav Maga I've done. Wrestling in high school. I wrestled for two years in, on my high school wrestling team. And I've done... That's about it. That's about it. I think I did like one kendo class once, but that doesn't really count as training. So hopefully that answers your question. All right, so we got another another <clears throat> person joining the live. Welcome, once you get on, and I know it can take a second. Hi. Hey, what's up? Oh, nothing much. Um, I have a few questions, though. Okay, what you got for me? What you got for me? How many superhero hats do you have? Ooh, that is a good question. So if you if you can't tell... I have my wall here. Uh, it's missing a couple. Because I also happen to have a few of my own as well. So as a matter I, of fact, I have one I with have, my name on it. I have a lot. I have enough hats to wear one hat of, every day of, of the month and never repeat it. 
Um, I have, and the way I remember how many hats I have currently is kind of weird. Uh, it's kind of funny because it's I use my favorite game. I don't know if you've played Minecraft, but Minecraft has this thing about 64. And I have had, I currently own half that amount of hats. So I own 32 hats currently. Um, half a stack of hats. <laughs> okay. And so all my mind um, comments, you'll, you might get a chuckle out of how it. How did you find out about all the fighting styles that um all the other marvel and dc characters know so that is a good question and so for those of you that don't know i have a series on my youtube where i break down different fighting styles of different dc characters marvel characters video game characters all that stuff uh and if you want to check it out definitely check it out on my youtube but what i do is basically i will sit at my computer here on my desk and i will watch Video after video, fight scene after fight scene. I am so thankful for those people out there that put compilations of all of their fight scenes. Uh, and I'll just watch them all over and over and over. And I'll take notes and I'll take notes. And then once I once I feel like I have enough notes after I've watched it a couple times, I will go in and compare it to other styles. So if um, I see, you know, a special kick that Black Panther does that, shows up pretty prevalently as a taekwondo click then you know he has taekwondo experience or how um the mandalorian um his fighting style uses a lot of krav maga influence and, and uh the core of what krav maga is as far as how they train and what they what they um uh, focus on in their training is a lot of the same stuff that Mandalorians focus on in their training and stuff that they do. And so you find those different, um, you know, different aspects that relate to each other. And that's how you put that together. Uh, it's kind of hard when you don't know a lot of different martial arts and you don't know the differences between them. But when you've been in martial arts for a long time, it's easier to pick apart uh, the different motions and different. Um, yeah. Cause I'm also trying to learn how to fight like all four members of, well, the four original Robins, mm. along with Captain America and Blade and a few other heroes like Batman and Green Arrow. Mm -hmm. As a well, matter I've, of fact, I've, I've even done, studied... Um, I've, done of, I've done a lot of those heroes that you just mentioned already on YouTube. Um, but honestly, my, my best advice as far as if you want to break down a fighting style like them... Because um, obviously, it can't, nothing's one to one with comics. Everything's exaggerated in the comics and in TV and in movies, so it's not exactly one to one. <clears throat> but what Hang you on can a moment. Do is you can go in, find some fighting styles, break down what would actually work, and break down what is movie magic. And it can be hard for beginners. Um, and I don't know. I don't claim to know how much training you have in martial arts but you can find those those uh moves that work and moves that are actually real and put them into your training habits and just add them to your curriculum that you train um there are uh there are lots of videos out there that will break down fighting styles or fight scenes and be like okay that's real that's real that's fake there's no way that would work. That's real. So you're basically kind of... like identifying what's real and what isn't? Exactly. And so there's a lot of videos that do that. I'm actually getting ready to do something similar to that. Um, but um, I, I just haven't gotten to it yet. It's been a very busy couple weeks. Because <laughs> um, but... I've also been studying like from your Red Robin video on one of the staff combinations. Mm. You know, the attack, the attacking one first. Mm-hmm. So there are. There Would are, you be okay with me even staff, showing you? Staff is a great weapon to learn how to use because a it is it will teach you the basics of weapons in general, and so you can take those basics and move them to any other weapon that you want, whether that's sword, a screamer, um, you know, those commas, are also fight what else I want to learn how to do, and, and then you can use that uh, to, and you can use the staff itself to fight like it's a really good uh combat weapon it has range you ha you get to keep the bad guy farther away <laughs> um, yeah it's really and it's everyone asks me what weapon would i choose in the zombie apocalypse what would be my main and i every time i say 
obviously outside of guns, I'd go with the spear simply because oh, yeah, you can true, keep them at a distance. And <laughs> Would you be okay um, if we show you? Yeah, so that's, so that's where. Say that again. Would you be okay with me showing you, like, how I've done on the first attack so far? Uh, not right now, <laughs> but if you want to send me videos from to, like, talk about and read to go over with you, then join my Discord, because I do that for them all the time. Another thing. I also do fan art sometimes. Like, I'll make collages, like I'm assuming that you've seen on my Instagram page. If you want, I can make some for you. Yo, send, send me some. Like I said earlier, um, anybody that sends me fan art, I absolutely love receiving fan art. It's the coolest thing to me. Uh, and so I'll post it on my page, like straight up. That's yeah, I, I posted one yesterday. Yep. But a comic out. book store. That I However, I think you're cutting out. But um, it's time... I, I gotta cut. I can't talk, guys. I gotta cut the time short to let some other people jump online. Uh, but thank you for jumping in and joining live with me. Sorry about that. You're good. You're good. Also all I was saying was I didn't want to like cut you off while you were talking. Uh, no worries. It's all good. It happens. But thank you for joining live. I gotta give some other people a chance to jump online. Uh, I really yep. appreciate you jumping on. And if you want to send me those videos on Discord, I will always go over my guys' video, my Discord guys' videos, like if they want me to. So just jump on there. Okay. Bye bye. And yes, you can use me for your videos. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. All right. So looks like it's time to go for another question while you guys figure out who's going next to join the live um uh, uh yes i just answered this question so i'm not going to spend too much time on it but if you send me art i'm gonna post it because i love it i absolutely love it all right We have another. <laughs> Welcome. What's up? What's up, bro? Hope hope everything's going well. Yeah, man. Yeah, just just kicking it. So uh, I heard you talking about all the different styles you do: Tang Sudo, Taekwondo, Shotokan. Those are all kind of Shotokan based, but you also mentioned Kung Fu, Krav Maga, things that are very different. So my question for you is, how do you mix your styles as opposed to just being, now I'm doing Krav Maga, now I'm doing Kung Fu. How do you combine that, them together? That is a good question. And the key to mixing your styles is, one, comfortability. I don't even know if that's the right word. But if you're not comfortable doing a style, if you're not comfortable moving in the way a style moves, for example, uh, karate and Shotokan styles are like Taekwondo and Karate and, and Tong Sudo. They're very hard and, you know, linear, right? Versus right. Your, your Chinese styles like Kung Fu and, and Mantis, they're very circular in, in nature, right? And you have to feel comfortable moving circular in nature, and then you have to feel comfortable going straight and moving, you know, in that more linear function. If you don't feel comfortable in either one, it is going to be impossible to mix them. Uh, and once you feel comfortable, and let me tell you, starting from a very linear form and moving to a very circular form, super hard. <laughs> like, yeah. like, it was it was so difficult for me to break some of the habits that I had just to learn Kung Fu. But once you do, and once you get comfortable at it, and I'm still, you know, slowly getting more and more comfortable with it, uh, you'll be able to just kind of play around. And so I, there was one day I was just bored. And so I was taking my Taekwondo sword technique and then put a drunken style Kung Fu twist on it, right? Just to see, just to see what would happen what it would look like it looked weird and i felt awkward doing it but 
uh, playing with, with how your body moves and playing with the styles that you know and just kind of throwing things together when you're bored is, I think, the best way to blend styles. And I, I am a believer in the fact that there's no true, you know, martial arts style for most people. Anyone that's trained in any, in more than one martial arts style, then you have your own style if that makes sense. If you've, right. if you've trained in Taekwondo and you've trained in Krav Maga, you're not going to look like a Taekwondo practitioner. You're not going to look like a Krav Maga practitioner. You're going to be in the middle. You're going to be, and you're not necessarily perfectly even. You're going to be at your point somewhere in the middle, right? So, and that's why, that's why I like breaking down uh, comic characters and superhero fights, fighting styles, because yeah, Batman may train in seven different fighting styles or 80 different fighting styles or whatever the number is, but his actual fighting style, what he uses and what he performs is unique to him. And so, yeah, no, no one has time to practice everything, but if you wanted to look like Batman, there are things that you can practice to look like Batman that's not necessarily a martial arts style. Quiet. Go downstairs. My dog is just yelling at me right now. Um, glad, glad to hear it's a dog that you're talking to. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she she does not like when I'm using my phone, and so she's just like, mm, I don't like it. She for some reason she just does not like my phone. Um, but uh, does that an does that kind of answer your question? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's all about you know playing around with it, um, which makes sense. I mean, you know, nowadays whether you're competing in MMA, whether you're just a martial arts practitioner, you know, like you said, you move around a lot. I grew up in a military family. So same thing for me. It's hard to stick with one thing. So we yeah. all do kind of tend to blend our styles together. Exactly. You know? so, yeah. What was that? I said, I think that's a, that's a great thing. That's part of the beauty of it. personally, I think. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, for you working in, in film now, you know, in Immortal Red Fox, I saw that. Good, good on you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that plug in there. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, like that's what they, they want. You know, that's what filmmakers want is they want to see, you know, not just, oh, this is a Taekwondo guy, but this is a guy who just looks impressive. XMA, right? Right, exactly. And that's, that's kind of the whole purpose of XMA now. And that's why XMA is one of, if not the most uh, – quickly growing martial art in the world today because it's just it's just impressive and people like seeing it and when that many people like seeing it in the world of Captain America and and Batman and Spider-Man that's just that's what people are going to be drawn to I can't tell you how many times people have gone to a martial arts school that didn't have any form of XMA or any form of tricking and and that, that weapon play kind of aspect and then just left because that's what they're here for that's what they want to do and so i think any any martial artist going forward that doesn't spend you know obviously it's up to you but any martial arts school going forward that doesn't have anything in the way of of the flashy stuff that most people want to learn nowadays is missing a huge opportunity yeah for sure but thank you. Awesome question. You got anything else for me? No, man. I'll uh, I'll let you go. But uh, yeah, you can certainly use me in your video. Awesome. Thank you very much. Have a good day. All right. You too, man. All right. Until you guys send another invite, I'm going to answer another question. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got two of the same question. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay. Do you play any games such as Mortal Kombat, Injustice, or other fighting games? Um, yes and no. Um, I love Injustice, and I love the game Injustice, and I played it all the time before, but I haven't had time to play games a lot. Uh, honestly, the only games I really still play are uh, Rainbow Six sometimes, and Minecraft. I play Minecraft all the time because that's just, Minecraft is my game. It's my, um, what is it? What is some, it's my uh, unique, like, go-to for wanting to chill, wanting to relax, wanting to do my thing and just kind of 
be me. That's what I go to. But in general, I don't really play a ton of games anymore. I used to do it all the time, every day, all day. But honestly, guys, now I just, with everything going on, I just don't have time. So, uh, but yes, if I had to pick a favorite character in those games, um, Deathstroke in Injustice 1 was OP. I don't care what you say. He was he was a boss. And Supergirl in Injustice 2 is also a boss. And I'll kick your butt with both of those characters. Also, uh, Scorpion every day of the week. So, just that. <clears throat> anyway, if you are just joining in, if you want to join me on live and ask a little question, have a conversation, uh, I am more than willing to jump on live with you. But we got a new request. <clears throat> got a new request um, take a second to come on I, I get it hey what's up i'm a big fan bro nice to meet you hope you're having a good day uh, me too i follow i follow got any conversation i follow you on tiktok and all that you say that again i follow you on tiktok oh i appreciate that i appreciate that i feel like most people that know me follow me know me from tiktok there's only a few people that are still around that only know me from youtube and stuff like that so uh but i really do appreciate tiktok for giving me the platform that i have um uh, uh so do you have any questions for me um can you yeah can you show one of your weapons so yes since this is not a tiktok live stream i absolutely can show one of my weapons uh let's see here <clears throat> so, I'm going to definitely not put this part on TikTok, but these are my uh, aluminum, aircraft aluminum commas that I got from uh, Century Martial Arts. I actually have a sponsorship with them right now, and so you can use a discount code NINJA10 to, to get them if you want, I'm just saying. Um, but you can, you know, spin around. They're really cool. I really like them, and they're really durable, so I can use them in fighting oh. Uh, They're pretty nice. In fighting scenes without worrying about them breaking apart or doing anything like that. So it's really kind of nice. So, so they're durable? They are. They are made of aircraft aluminum. basically made of the same stuff planes are made of. So, yeah, they they uh, they hold up pretty well. Okay, I might, so, I might buy some. There are definitely, I don't know how old you are, but just going to say, make sure you get your parents' permission first. But definitely check them out. They are awesome. And they are there are some um, beginner-friendly combos that you can get and work your way up to something like those. Because these, even though it's not sharp, it, when it's going fast, it can still hurt and stab you. I've been stabbed <laughs> by something like this just because it was going fast. It's not even sharp. But when it's going fast enough, it doesn't matter. So be very careful. Oh, okay. But... Thank you for jumping online. I appreciate that you follow me on TikTok and Instagram now, I guess. Uh, and I appreciate that. All right. Bye. Have a good night. All right. While you guys figure out what who else is next, I'm going to answer another question. Um, this is a, This is an interesting one. One second. Michael, let Jazz out. All right, so this is an interesting one. Can you get an autograph from me? Uh, <laughs> I just realized who sent this. Um, Alex, no, you can't, <laughs> but everyone else can. <laughs> um, if you see me, if you do see me in real life, I, I live in you know Dallas, so it's happened before. If you see me and you want to get an autograph or a picture, I have no problem doing that. I will always be down to, to sign something, sign out, sign some gear, uh, take a picture. You know, I, I will be down. So just just ask me. Don't, don't, don't. Please don't just look at me like I'm a crazy person. Just don't stare. Just come and talk to me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Anyway, so... Still waiting on you guys. If any of you want to join and have a chat, by all means, you can uh, jump online. Oh, wait. I have I have requests. I have a backup request. I have... There we go. 
Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can... So I'm going to assume that you meant, can I teach you with nunchucks? And yes, I can. I offer lessons for anyone that wants to. Ooh. <laughs> I have lessons for anyone that um, that wants to learn martial arts or wants to learn traditional Tong Sudo or wants to learn weapon tricks with whatever weapon that they've seen me do in the past. So if you've seen me do it, uh, with the exception of rope dart, <laughs> um, I will have no problem teaching you what I know all online. So you don't have to be in the same, you know, state or city or even the same area code, like the same zip code. You don't have to be anywhere around me. You can be in a different country if you want to. Uh, and you can you can jump on Zoom and teach you. So if you're interested in lessons, just shoot me a message. I will send you <laughs> uh, information. Also, uh, sorry, but not, sorry, but not sorry, Alex. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you, everyone. If you are interested in martial arts, which I mean, if you're following me, you probably are. Go follow Alex. He does some awesome stuff on TikTok. Um, and go, you can go check them out on Instagram as well. Uh, okay. So have I seen Cobra Kai? Um, so no, I haven't seen it yet. I want to, I've been planning on it. I've heard lots of good things, but ever since, like, I've only really, heard good things about it fairly recently in the last month or two and since two months ago i have been busy 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 just knocking stuff like non-stop working and so um i will watch it i i will watch it but i just haven't been able to yet any again if you're just joining, anyone can go live. All you got to do is have a question or have a topic you want to talk about when we're live. That's all you got to do. And request it. Um, ooh, what is my favorite fighting style? Uh, Tong Sudo. Tong Sudo is the best martial art there is. No, no questions asked. And <laughs> that is totally biased. But it is my favorite. It's the, the art that I've spent the most time training in. Um, it's the art that has um affected my personal style the most and it is the art that i'm getting ready to test for my master in and so it is without a doubt my um my favorite martial arts style <clears throat> but again let me know you guys got 15 more minutes until i gotta go hopefully i get through most of your questions Ooh, this is a really good question. Are commas a good starting weapon for beginners? Uh, I will answer that in just a second, but I'm going to answer this question first. Um, what's up, Jacob? So, are commas a good starting weapon for beginners? Simple answer, not at all. No, the commas are actually really difficult to learn uh, for beginners. What I suggest doing is starting with bow staff. I, I suggest this to literally everyone. All of my students start with bow staff. That's just, that's a mandatory for every single one of my students because bow staff gives you such a good base of how to use a weapon and it's also not a blade. And so you don't have as much of a threat of hurting yourself when you start with something like a bow staff versus when you start with a sword or a comma. I know that's kind of upsetting and so because everyone wants to do commas everyone wants to swing around the flashy sword everyone wants to do that and i get it but you just you just can't that's not something that's that i suggest at all for anyone who's just starting into martial arts but we got someone who wants to be in the live so if you have a question you can join the live just be ready with a question <clears throat> and if I don't know what hey, dude. Hey, what's up? Oh, so I was thinking I was uh, I'm a beginner uh, with ninjutsu okay. and stuff. And I've been practicing nunchucks for a couple of months, maybe three, four. So 
Uh, and I wanted to ask you, I also trained a little bit of uh, Shaolin. So if you trained uh, like animal styles and something so, like that. So I have actually, I just finished, I, so I've been training and I'm still training in uh, Mantis style Kung Fu uh, with the mm -hmm. goal of being able to do a Power Ranger film as the Mantis character. And so in this film, they mm -hmm. all have different styles of fighting. All the Rangers have different styles of fighting. So... Uh, the wolf will have a certain style. He fights a more karate style. Uh, the, and the mantis, which is what I am, will have a mantis kung fu style. So um, it's really interesting. It's, it uses a lot of like these kind of yeah. motions there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really fun. Um, but you said you, you've been working on, on nunchucks? Yeah, nunchucks. Nunchucks, oh nunchucks are the devil's weapon I, let me tell you <laughs> um the written the mm -hmm. reason i say that it's it's kind of a joke because that i started when i was on youtube and um mm -hmm. the reason i say that is because nunchucks are the one weapon that everyone as a beginner want to start with which you know i get it everyone loves uh michelangelo ninja turtles are great i love michelangelo yeah. like i get it but it's with especially for beginners like it you just you just will hurt yourself it will happen there's nothing you can do you will hit yourself all the time and that's just that's just how it is you, like you can't get good at you can't you can't safely buy a pair of nunchucks it, obviously outside of foam nunchucks you can't buy a pair yeah, of wooden tricking nunchucks without expecting to get hurt. That just is what it is. And I have gone to another extreme. Mm -hmm. I have these, which are nunchucks with blades on the end. Yeah. It's so like, I'm insane for it, but that's like, nunchucks, nunchucks wake up in the morning wanting to hurt you. And that's just how it is. <laughs> yeah, so I was thinking I would buy a pair of Kamas, so. Uh, but as you said, it's, uh, like hard. Yeah. So um, nunchucks are one of the few things that a, you don't really need to start with bow staff necessarily to get good at nunchucks, but it mm -hmm. also means that nunchucks, the skills you get in nunchucks don't necessarily correlate to other weapons. So because of how a nunchuck is, you're, you're relying on these circles, right? You're relying yeah. on momentum. On the spins, yeah. versus something like a comma, where it's it's more focusing on strikes and arm motions and the wrist movement here, um, and so that means that using something like your comma is is going to be very different, and you're basically going to come into it as a beginner. And so my suggestion again, get your basic strikes and learn how to strike with bow staff before you strike with commas because even though it, it doesn't feel the same, like even though it like with conventional wisdom, you it wouldn't be necessarily linked. It incredibly is linked. It is absolutely linked. And so definitely spend, you know, six months or so on both staff before you pick up commas. And that's what I suggest to people. It, it, if you're trying to start with, if you're trying to, to mm -hmm. learn and get actually good at commas or sword, spend six months uh six you know six to eight months on bow staff and then mm -hmm. once okay. you get that because uh then you'll have the basics down and in my opinion in my experience you don't really have the basics down until you've been doing something for at least six months that's just how martial arts is just the yeah. in my experience i was like when i get the nunchucks i was like really spinning around and like having fun and I like hit myself every time, pretty much. Mm. And and it's like, again, really... it's nunchucks. You can't avoid that. That's just how it is. So, uh, but you can help that by getting foam nunchucks and um, mm. just sticking with it. Because the more you practice your nunchucks, the less you will hit yourself, and the better you'll get, and the be and the cooler you'll feel, right? Um, because everyone picks up nunchucks to feel cool. That's just. That, you know, yeah. Nate, <laughs> like, you, like, who doesn't feel cool when they're swinging around nunchucks? I almost hit my computer, but when there's oh, yeah. nunchucks, 
like Michelangelo. It's just everyone feels cool like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so good job. Keep up the work with your nunchucks. If you do want to start commas, be careful. Yeah. I strongly suggest, you know, start with both stuff, but mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. my student, so you can start with whatever you want. Um, yeah, I was like thinking maybe uh, when I like master nunchucks, then uh, katana or uh, like commas. Yeah, or not even master, just just master the basics. Master the basics. Mastering absolutely takes years and years and years yeah decades like literal decades but you want to master the basics spend a year on on bow staff spend a year on nunchucks and you will master the basics mm -hmm. right so yeah that's that's my suggestion as far as um different weapons and stuff like that but i'm going to let you go i'm gonna let other people join okay on man. the live asking yeah i'll we'll have a little bit more time left but Thank you for joining mm -hmm. in. And do you mind if I use you on some of my YouTube or TikTok? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Thank you sure. very yeah. much. Uh, and mm -hmm. have a great night. Yeah. Thanks, man. Bye. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to answer one more question and answer one more of you guys into the live if you're interested. But don't worry. I will start doing these more often if you guys uh, appreciate them. How? Okay, this is a good one. Uh, I will answer you uh, in just a second. What's up, Sequoia? Um, how do you sign up for lessons? Well, you start by messaging me. It's a whole process. We'll set up a, cl a class schedule that fits with both of our, our schedules, and we'll teach you what you want to learn. There's different varieties. But if you look on my YouTube, I have a video that goes into detail about how all the lessons works and what you can expect in your lesson. So if you want to sign up, check out my YouTube or just message me and I will send you a link to the video. That's, that's kind of how I, how I do things. So I will send you a link to the video and you can check it out and get all the, the questions that you may have answered and any questions that you uh, still haven't had answered, I will be able to answer anything you need. Hopefully that helps. But last person on the live, <clears throat> Let's get you in here. Hi. What's up? I like that hoodie. Miles. Thank you. Love it. Thank you. Absolutely love it. My uh Thank my Miles had it sitting sitting right there. Right there. Oh, Absolutely. That's a nice hat. So what you got for me? Well, I actually did want to ask you a um a question. So um, I have these nunchucks. I actually made these around like eight years ago with my dad. And I don't have a bow staff, but um, I have this broomstick that I use. And so I practice with both of them. Which one do you prefer me to like practice with first to like, you know? So uh, one, broomsticks are the unsung hero of the broke martial artist. And as a martial yeah. artist, that, you know, didn't have all the kind of money as a kid, didn't have all kinds of money growing up and still don't have all kinds of money now. Um, that is a great tool to use. Uh, broomsticks, uh, dowel rods that you find in Lowe's and Home Depot, PVC pipes, all that cheap stuff that you can get. So uh, kudos to you for going and using that. But to answer your question, it depends on what you want to focus on, you know, in what your end goal is. Obviously, you can eventually do both. And so you don't, it's not, you're not locking yourself down to either one. But if your goal is to train in sword, train in spear, train in commas, even commas like these, if your goal is to do stuff like that, then I suggest focusing on bow staff because those that's a uh, linear type of striking is what's going to give you the the basics for uh, those types of weapons so any weapon that that is stationary right your swords yeah your your staff your escrima sticks right your collie sticks all that kind of stuff uh and on the other half of things um you have your nunchucks you have your rope dart. You have your trisectional staff, your uh, whip and chain, right? 
You have all that kind of yeah. stuff. And so if you want to focus on rope dart and stuff like that, then nunchucks will be very helpful because you'll get to learn how to use the circles and use the spinning momentum in your styles. Um, and so, um, and so that's, that's the kind of route that you're going to want to take if that's what you want to do. And it's all up to you. You know, you could pick whatever you want. <laughs> like, you're not going to hurt anyone's feelings if you pick one or the other. That's just, that's just it was whatever one that you like the most. But think about it. Think yeah. about what you like the most because you're going to spend lots of time, hours and hours training to this. And so if you don't like it, you shouldn't train it, right? Um, yeah. So depending on whichever ones you're in goal, and maybe nunchucks are just your end goal because you just want to learn nunchucks or you just want to learn all the different weapons of the Ninja Turtles because that's what I wanted to do. That's why I have size and and nunchucks and staff and sword. Um so all you have to do is just pick whichever one you want to learn and go from there because staff is a great base nunchucks are a great base they just have different skill trees if that makes sense yeah yeah any other questions um no not really awesome well but uh hopping by uh i love absolutely love the hoodie i might have to grab myself one like that um <laughs> thank you and can i post use this video in some of my videos later on yeah sure awesome i appreciate that very much but thank you for jumping on and i will talk to you next time because i will definitely be doing lives more often thank you have Bye. a great night you too all right guys so i hope you enjoyed the live i um, can you guys even see me right now? I don't know. I see like the, uh, the loading screen circles here. Um, but I appreciate you guys jumping on live with me. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, if you have another question that I didn't answer and that you really, really want answered, join my discord or message me on Instagram. I don't always get to my Instagram messages very quickly because I get a lot of them. So jump on my Discord and at me or, um, or just ask the questions. There's a lot of other martial artists that I trust very much on that Discord that can answer a lot of different martial arts questions. So that's a good resource for you guys to use if you want it. Um, or just wait for my next live because I will obviously be going live again probably next Wednesday. Um, I'm going to have to work on the timings, uh, but it should be next Wednesday at 4. So be ready. Don't be late, because this is where the party is. <laughs> but thank you guys for hanging out. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja. And I'll talk to you guys later.